Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the unusual volcanic activity that's happening right now. I found this on a website called endoftheamericandream.com. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Should we be concerned by all of the volcanic activity that we are witnessing all over the world right now? According to Volcano Discovery, 27 different volcanoes are erupting at this moment, and many others are showing signs of waking up. Of course this comes at a time when we are also seeing lots of unusual earthquakes around the world. I have been regularly warning my viewers about the instability of our Earth, and it appears that seismic activity is beginning to spike as we approach the end of 2022. So, will this trend continue once we get into 2023? As you watch this video, the two biggest volcanoes in Hawaii are simultaneously erupting for the very first time since 1984. Two of Hawaii's largest volcanoes are erupting simultaneously. Hawaii's Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano, erupted for the first time in decades on Sunday night. Nearby, Kalaya is also erupting, both on the archipelago's Big Island. Dual eruptions haven't been seen since 1984. Kalaya has been active for a while, but we haven't seen Mauna Loa erupt in decades. But what is concerning authorities is not just the fact that it is erupting. The violence with which it has exploded has caught everyone off guard. It is being reported that it was sending boiling hot lava 148 feet into the air on Tuesday. People were pulling over in their cars throughout the night to get a glimpse of the striking scene, a blazing river cutting through the darkened horizon. They took photos and videos, stood in silence, and even urged others to turn off their car lights for a better and more reverential view. Mauna Loa has been erupting for days, with lava shooting to heights of up to 148 feet on Tuesday. Can you imagine seeing lava shoot 10 stories into the sky? That would be quite an intimidating sight. Also, the speed with which the lava is flowing is absolutely breathtaking. Personally, I don't know if I have ever seen a river of lava move so fast. And we are being warned that lava from the volcano could soon reach one of Hawaii's most important roads. Hawaii's Mauna Loa volcano, the world's largest active volcano, continues to erupt, and there are new fears that lava flows could take out a major road connecting the east and west sides of Hawaii's Big Island in the coming days. There's a very high probability that this lava flow, if it continues, will definitely reach the road, Ken Hahn, scientist in charge at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, told CBS News. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Meanwhile, a giant volcano in Indonesia just erupted as well. On Sunday, Mount Sumeru sent clouds of extremely hot ash a mile into the sky. Indonesia's Mount Sumeru erupted Sunday, spewing hot ash clouds a mile high and rivers of lava down its side, while triggering the evacuation of nearly 2,000 people, exactly one year after its last major eruption killed dozens. The burst from the highest mountain on Indonesia's main island of Java, around 800 kilometers or 500 miles southeast of the capital Jakarta, prompted authorities to raise the alert status for the volcano to the highest level. It is a good thing that authorities do not allow anyone to live near Mount Sumeru, because anyone that was close to the crater would have been instantly wiped out. The nearest villages have been absolutely blanketed with ash, and those that live in those villages have been forced to flee to temporary shelters. 
Several villages were blanketed with falling ash, blocking out the sun, but no casualties have been reported. Several hundred residents, their faces smeared with volcanic dust and rain, fled to temporary shelters, or left for other safe areas. Thick columns of ash were blasted more than 1,500 meters or nearly 5,000 feet into the sky, while searing gas and lava flowed down Samaru slopes toward a nearby river. So, will we see even more extremely alarming seismic activity in the weeks ahead? I will definitely be watching developments very closely. The world that we all live on is showing more signs of instability, and I fully expect that this trend will continue to accelerate in 2023. Meanwhile, global weather patterns just keep getting crazier. Right now, the amount of snow cover in the Northern Hemisphere is the highest that it has been since measurements began in 1967. NOAA and Rutgers University released new data that showed snow cover across the Northern Hemisphere reached the highest level since measurements began in 1967 and are currently above the 56-year mean. Extensive snow extent early in the season is an indicator of persistent cold as we head into winter proper, weather blog Severe Weather Europe said. In other words, we have never seen this much snow in the Northern Hemisphere at this time of the year. Of course, we haven't even reached the beginning of winter yet. In fact, the official start of winter is still more than two weeks away. If things are this cold and this snowy already, what will January and February look like? The experts are assuring all of us that all of this is normal. But the experts have been wrong over and over again in recent years. Do they simply do not understand that major changes are starting to happen to the Earth? Or, did this happen on purpose? If so, then those changes are only going to intensify during the years to come. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.